ladies and gentlemen, what can be a say? The great Judy Garland. Yeah. We're back you. now. Hey, I thank you for coming tonight, Judy. Really. Oh, well, you're welcome. Well, I really thank you for coming. Pleasure. Does that mean I have to leave? No, right that doesn't mean you have to leave. I got a present for you. <laughs> Somebody brought this up to the office this afternoon. I've never seen any. You've heard of visions of sugar plums danced in your head? Mm -hmm. Have you ever had any real sugar plums? No. I have a box of sugar. No, no, this is no joke. It comes with that. You don't trust me, do you? Well, are gonna no, it's not any of those With magic novels where the snow comes out. These are sugar plums. And these are real sugar plums from Portugal. Did you know there were such things? No. All right. So Have so you ever so had so visions so. of them? I've had visions of them <laughs> many yeah. times. Visions many times, no. It was first made famous, or took special note of the charm in that when he wrote the famous Visit from St. Nicholas, you know, yes. visions of sugar plums. Danced in their heads. And throughout 1800s, the sugar plum gained in reputation. Did you know that? Sugar plums have been candied since the days of Prince Henry the Navigator. Well, I know him. Oh, what? the yeah. Navigator. Oh, yes. Good <laughs> mover. He was a little candied himself. <laughs> I understand. I don't know. No, but these are these aren't from Portugal. <laughs> Would you like to try one? No, these aren't. There's no joke. These are sugar plums. <laughs> I don't think they're a joke. Aren't they peculiar? Yes, they are. <laughs> oh, you try one first, darling, because oh, that's see. only being a lady. No, I want to find out. No, they're they're jade well, green on. jade mm. green. Fruits. Oh, good. They're, they're candied and then sugar coated. Those are real sugar plums. 
Would you? Yes, uh, Julia. Hmm. Good. Never like to be left out. Anybody? No. Why, why, why don't you try one? Because I don't particularly. You're not big on sugar plums? <laughs> no, I don't even know about they them. They were first brought to America in 1875. By, by who? By, by, I don't know. They came on a clipper ship. <laughs> no two are quite alike, it says. <laughs> so I hope not. No two are quite alike. Well, now, why not? <laughs> They're pretty good. They're a little too sugary for me. <laughs> this How one, do you this, like them, John? This one came, came over, I think, with Prince Henry. <laughs> no. No, they are very sweet, but those are They're real... A little oversweet, I think. Maybe. Real sugar plums. So, if well, you, that, uh, I'll if you take like it them anyway, well, it's, it's a sentimental gift. It is. It's very nice. It's pretty bar. So how and you I feeling? love Henry. <laughs> so how's everything? What you been doing and how are things going? I haven't seen you for four or five months. I uh, know. You oh, look everything's wonderful. fine. Everything's fine. How are you? I'm just fine. Good. Hey, somebody told me you were upset about, uh, in a way. Well, but, like, everybody uh, says that. I'm always upset. No, that you got. Yeah, are you always upset? No. Not always. I mean, just well, as often up. as you get upset, you know. Well, I'm. I get tense occasionally. Yeah, no kidding. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, uptight, as the saying goes. Where did that, when did that first start, uptight? Is that a relatively new expression? Yeah, or well, was that three or four years, I guess. Is it that? Yeah, the movie out now with that title. Yeah, somebody, uh, said, somebody said you were upset with Jackie Kennedy marrying Onassis? Yes, I, I thought uh, it might be a good idea, you know, if, if, well, he has a lot of money in that great big boat. <laughs> and I thought he might want some jazz singing after. Oh, <laughs> I see. Uh, he does have a couple of dollars, though. That's an awful lot of money. Yes, it is. What is it, a billion dollars or something like oh, that? Oh, it's a billion trillion. That's over what? Uh, 48 dollars isn't it? A billion? Oh, he's <laughs> way over. A lot of money. It's a lot more than you get paid on the show. You better believe that. Uh, Somebody said you'd rather interview me tonight. We don't. I think I shall. Yeah. Said so you want to be an interviewer, so you'll be an interviewer. I know. I don't. Well, yeah. well, I'd like to be. Go ahead. You'll shoot me, didn't Go ahead. I will. All right. Uh, Anything at all. What uh, turns you on? What? Uh, you asking me? No, 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 no. <laughs> all right. What turns you on? Why? Right, let her ask the question. <laughs> she asked me to help her. You know what turns me on? <laughs> Snowflakes and sugar plums. What else? You give me a sugar plum and I'm out of my gourd. Uh, you mean, what do I like? Uh, oh, a lot of, you know, many things. Good music, uh, quiet fire, good drink, book, loyal dog, <laughs> the hearth. Nothing else? Uh, well, a, a woman you can be close to, and you can keep your loyal dog and your hearth, <laughs> and your snowflakes and your sugar plums, and no, that's anything else. <laughs> Any questions at all? I've never been interviewed on the I'd show. I'd like to know where you got that tie. Oh, I was afraid you were going to ask. And it's kind of pretty. I asked Jenny tonight, is this too wild? I thought it was kind of Christmassy. It did. You got that at the Sugar Plum Tie Shop. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so you get a box of Sugar Plums with your tie. My Sugar Plums. I would just throw it on and make a very pretty powder box. Hey, let me ask you something, though. Yes, in a, in a, no, not really serious. Not really serious. Uh, but when everybody I talks about female singers, your name comes up. Every time they talk about Judy. Uh, mm -hmm. Who are some of your favorite singers? Do you have people that you like to listen to and that you think are oh, yes. sensational? I think Barbara Streisand. I think Barbara. Liza Minnelli. Yeah! Uh, Liza Minnelli, isn't she going to be with us? Uh, I think Liza's with us tomorrow or, when, or Thursday. Next week. What? Next week. Next Wednesday or Thursday. Well, I would, uh, you know, she sounds a good deal like you the first time I heard her. I really was rocked. I first saw Liza when she was in Las Vegas. When she walked out, I was devastated the first time. She has a lot of your qualities, doesn't she? She has her own, uh, uh, she is L uh, Liza. Oh, she's and a she definite makes personality. Her own sound, and she dances beautifully. And uh, maybe we phrase a little like, uh, like because we're, well, we are related. Yes, <laughs> yes. Well, and she should. Uh, she shouldn't if. If she She's didn't pick up anything from you, it would be wrong entirely, wouldn't it? What? If she didn't pick up something from you, I mean, in uh, phrasing or in singing or something, it would be all wrong, pick right? Pick up anything from you? No, I mean, in the musical, oh. you know, musical bag. Well, I... As I, the disc jockeys say. I think, 
her, her uh, emotions are the same. We cry a lot. Do you really? Not really. What makes you sad? Do well, you cry at movies? When we're separated. <laughs> when you're apart? Yeah. What makes you real happy? Uh, sugar plums. You too, huh? <laughs> it's the Christmas season. You see what happens when... You... Hey, somebody said you're going to London. Are you going over there to... Uh, yes, I am. To perform? Yes. Poor boss. I open at the uh, uh, town and country oh, I know. Uh, nightclub. Uh, it's a marvelous place. I've only been in London twice, and that's where everybody seems to go. It's the town and country. Well, that's the place. <sighs> that must be the place. Yes. Like to do a little commercial here? Sell something? We're not on for sugar plums, are we, tonight? Those are really quite good. I didn't want to say anything because whoever sent them was very nice. Then and, why have uh, your eyes been watering, both of you, <laughs> since you... Well, you know, uh, with... Too much sugar It's bright in here. No, those, those are very nice. Those were sent by the, uh... By Henry. By Henry? <laughs> the Prince Henry doesn't have... No, those were sent by... It's, it says William S. Ramos and Porter. Are you sure they weren't sent to you? No, they were. Yes, they were, but I wanted. I brought them to you as oh, a you gift. Oh, you gave them to me. Certainly. As a gift. Oh, good. Thank you, darling. Oh, sorry, I can Thank tell you. you're I very didn't choked mean up to bring about Henry it. In no, I can tell you're thrilled. I am, as a matter of fact. All you've always wanted was a box of sugar plums. Well, <laughs> what are you selling now? <laughs> that doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, what? Jerry, you. This is great. What is that? This is really, really great. You take this at night, if you have a little cold, a little, a little coldy poo. And you, cool. you take a couple of snorts of this. No, not a couple of snorts. You take. Uh... There's a measuring cap. What? There's a measuring cap that comes with it. To There's guide a medicine you. cap here. Yes. One fluid ounce. You put in a medicine cap, and you uh, you take a, sh a shot. Build it this. right down. And uh, it's called Nyquil. And uh, it's a great new cold medicine. You take it at night. Uh, I guess you could take it in the Can't daytime. Take it during you the day. can, I suppose, but they. Hey, Judy. Last time you were here on the show, yeah. we were talking about. Some of the vaudeville acts you've worked mm. with, you know, and some of them were kind of strange. I remember the fire eater, or well, uh, it was some, a man who threw up. Some, yeah. Well, he had some strange act for a finish. Uh, do you remember any more? They were the weirdest acts I've ever heard of in my life. Well, we we were one of the weirdest acts too. Really? The Gum Sisters. We were terrible, as <laughs> everyone in those days. Uh, in 1817, uh, <laughs> but uh, oh, yeah, oh, there was one, there was one terrible fellow by the name. <laughs> we were going on tour, my mother and my two sisters and myself, and we were someplace in uh, like uh, the outskirts of Seattle, and and they uh, they had a comic called Happy Harry. Happy and he was the most depressing uh, <laughs> but he he um, <clears throat> he he had the music going for we always had to stand in the wings and and live through his act and uh, you know because the manager demanded that and then we'd all three come out and sing Dinah and people would throw things it was you know it was kind of, and I'd pick it all up and we, that's the way we ate but, <laughs> and, uh, no, Happy Harry was was disturbed, I guess, but he he worked in two. You know what that when the curtain uh, gives you a little space between the uh, uh, footlights and the and the curtain, and there was an empty pit. Now, so just three instruments and. Uh, Happy Harry always, they, you know, it's three instruments are always over. And they couldn't make much noise. And Happy Harry would burst through the middle of the curtains and say, hello, everybody, this is Happy Harry. And he'd go and he'd do his uh, uh, act. And one time in one town, they put him in one, which meant he had uh, not as much space. But nobody told him. <laughs> and, <laughs> so they played. <laughs> and he went, hello, everybody's <laughs> man. Into the pit. He broke both legs. <laughs> and the manager said, go on to the three of us. And so we were singing, Dinah. And poor Happy Harry Lying was going, ah! <laughs> 
They must have had some wonderful managers of theaters in those days. It was the show. Get on, do the show. Uh, well, it was, yes, that was about it. And they paid uh, very little money, and you did about 17 shows a day. Mm. I don't know whether I'm happy I missed it or glad I, you know, or wish I uh, had had some of that vaudeville. But when well, you talk about it, it doesn't sound that, that oh, exciting. Funny. It was funny? It was funny. Now, you know It's man. funny in retrospect, but at the time it probably wasn't, was it? Yeah. Working that many shows a day? Well, I, I got used to it, I guess. And uh, actually, there were about seven shows a day because they had a movie in mm. between. Well, you started about, what, 9 in the morning or 9.30? Yeah. And you worked? After every movie. After a Happy Harry or the Fire Eater. <laughs> Whatever happened to Happy Harry? Uh, they, the last we saw of him, <laughs> as we were, uh, they brought, a, finally brought a litter from an ambulance down. While you were singing While Diana. I was singing Just <laughs> My Bill or, or uh, Buddy Can You Spare a Dime, which was perfect for a, a little girl of seven or eight, you know. <laughs> Once, uh, Cheerful. Half a million boots went slugging through hell. And I was the kid with the... Hey, don't you remember? They called me Al. Which and, was, and I had a nice little ruffle dress. they were picking dress. up Happy Harry at the time. They, no, 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 no. Yes, I guess I... I guess... I guess you're right. <laughs> it, was, it was quite... I couldn't get the sound of... of uh, Buddy couldn't you spare a dime because Happy... Harry was just in Morning. agony, you know. <laughs> that detracts. They did. <laughs> the siren, too, finally arrived. Poor thing had been lying. And they took and uh, they brought a litter down the aisle and, and carried him out in great pieces. While I was singing, uh, hey, don't you remember, they call me Al. And that's the last... Uh, that's just saw of, of Happy Harry. Yes. Well, he probably got out of the business. I... <laughs> You know, went into medicine or something. <laughs> you went into the operating something. room. You want to do something from us right here, sitting here? Understand me? Is this, a, is this a new one also? Yeah. Somebody said, the first one, first one you did tonight was a, was a new song, right? Yes. Which is a, was a lovely song. And uh, you said, this is new here. I will uh, give you this. I think that is on, is it not? Yeah. And uh, do it here and be comfortable. I'm wondering, waiting for somebody to blow back when you do that something. All righty. All righty, doctor? Yes. Please stay with me till after the holidays. That's when I need you so. Just say you wait till after the holidays, then I can let you go. Don't make me face this Christmas alone after each wonderful Christmas we've known. Won't you be kind? Let me believe you're mine on New Year's Eve. Just stay with me till after the holidays. I know it's hard, but try, try to pretend. to print. 
pretend till New Year. Then we can say goodbye. That is a great Both songs song. were written oh. by a new composer by the name of Johnny Myers. Just and he does lyrics great and... Song. Lovely lyrics. lyrics. Yeah. Great lyrics. Uh, but it makes me cry, that last sure. one. It's a pretty, pretty song. Just, uh, da, da, da. I've got to sell something here, I believe. Why don't you I... sell the mic? <laughs> Sugar pops. <laughs> Hi there, folks. <laughs> if you need a little help with your Christmas shopping, there's a lot at your Kodak dealers.